Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to make a video to show some of the voxel work I've been doing. Uh, this is actually a scene of uh, 512 by 512 by 512 and uh, I'm still working on the controls for it and it's definitely not optimized yet, but uh, this would be the beginning of a voxel uh, type game that I would like to work on. Uh, you can see on the sides there, the brown, that's actually the dirt underneath um, the green, which is the grass. So uh, this, this entire terrain that you're looking at is a solid piece of terrain uh, <clears throat> made up of voxels. And like I said, it's 512 by 512, and the height could be 512, but I'm not sure of the height of those mountains over there. Uh, it uses purlin noise to uh, randomly create the terrain. And, um, you know, let's, let's look around a little bit. Uh, check it out looks pretty cool actually um, I had this idea from uh, playing a few of the later uh, newer voxel base games like Star Maid and uh, Seven Days to Die and I've been really wanting to see how this kind of stuff works so I've been looking into it so this is this is not uh, based on any engine like Unity or anything like that um, this is some, something that I'm writing from scratch because I want to learn how it works uh, so I'm going to point through the terrain um, but uh, you know, just imagine being a little player on this on the ground here, looking around, and um, it's it's a pretty big world already. I mean, you know, there's a huge mountain right there. Uh, there's some ground. You got a couple hills. Um, let's let's go up here a little bit. So the next few steps I need to work on is, uh, I do have this organized in an oak tree, but I need to um, start using the oak tree based on the uh, view frustrum to clip out um, octants that are not in the view. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm actually rendering the entire terrain by just iterating over the oak tree. So considering that, I mean clearly it's slow, but it actually still works. That's, that's pretty good. Um, the 512 by 512 uses up about 600 megs of RAM. I attempted to do a 1024 and it did start loading, it didn't crash uh, based on the Java heap size, but it just was taking way too long so I, I, I cancelled it. Uh, and then once the view frustum culling is working, this would probably be a lot faster. And then I would like to work on the algorithm, the core algorithm for this, which basically takes a chunk of voxels, 16 by 16 by 16, and then turns them into triangles. Um, you know, ignoring any internal voxels that uh, don't have any space around them. Um, so I would like to work on that some more because I think that's going to be probably the the main core of, of this as far as the rendering goes. And then once I got once I have those two things pretty much worked out, uh, I'd like to work on the ray intersection testing. Um, you know, shooting a ray into the world, identifying uh, voxels, and uh, using the oak tree to do that so that I don't um, test things that I don't need to. So just wanted to make a video of this so I, in case just so I know I got to this point more for myself and uh, just in, in case anybody has any interest in voxels. Um, I, I, I definitely like voxels. I think they're definitely the wave of a lot of new type of games that are coming out like EverQuest Next and uh, some other games um, like that. And if you haven't tried some of the new games like Star Maid and Seven Days to Die, I highly recommend it. Uh, those are pretty cool, pretty cool games. It's fun to be able to change the world when you're a player in a game, and uh, I just think it's pretty. I just think it's interesting. And I know there's a lot of other technology, not necessarily that looks like voxels, but like uh, ID Tech Six. Uh, John Carmack is working on a new way to render things using voxels, but not like this type of voxels. Uh, where it looks blocky, the type where geometry is actually made up of voxels at very small uh, levels and it kind of changes the way you do modeling and stuff as well. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I just think this terrain is pretty cool from this point of view. And like I said, imagine being a little guy walking around on the terrain, jumping. Um, you know, this is a really large terrain here, so it, uh, it's a good test to make sure that this engine can handle, you know, a lot of. Uh, a lot of information. So just want to put that out there. Uh, leave some comments or let me know what you think. If you have any interest, uh, just leave a message or something like that. All right. Later.